Good morning everybody, welcome back to another Disneyland Paris vlog. Today we're going to start our day with breakfast at the hotel, we're staying at Sequoia Lodge if you didn't see yesterday, and then we're going to go over to Hollywood Studios and make the most of Magic Hour. So, good morning, that's your intro from me. Do you want to shout, oh, hello, and Pearly Pops, and Doggy, and off we go for breakfast. Having this view makes me so excited. It just makes me want to like race down there, race around the lake and get involved. I can see a little bit of Disney Village over there. Oh, I'm excited for today. Ears are on, Disney jacket is on, Disney snacks necklace is on. I am ready. I'm gonna head down to breakfast to the Golden Forest restaurant and they do the most amazing like buffet style breakfast. Here we go, Golden Forest Lounge. Whoa. Whoa, what have you seen? Look at all that fruit. That's amazing, isn't it? Um, it's a kiwi. This cake really impressed Pearl yesterday. And then this is all the hot food. Scrambled eggs in there, they were amazing yesterday. And then pastries galore. And then on this side, we've got the yogurts, fruit, um, oh, olives. I wasn't expecting to see olives at breakfast, or they may be with like your eggs and stuff. And then cheeses and meat. So in case you didn't see yesterday's vlog, if you're staying in a Disney hotel, you get one extra magic hour, so you get to come into the parks before it's open to the public. So it's really good because you get on loads of attractions with really low wait queues. So that's what we're making the most of. We're going to Walt Disney Studios and we're hoping to ride Crush's Coaster and some of the new Avengers Campus attractions. Here we go, we're gonna go straight to Avengers Campus. So this is the entrance to Avengers Campus. I have to say, I have only seen about four Marvel films and not even in the right order, but you've seen loads of them. Yeah. So this will make a lot of sense to you. And me have seen lots of them, so I'm more just like a passenger on this ride, enjoying the energetic music. <laughs> I know who Spider-Man is. Everybody knows who Spider-Man yeah. is. <laughs> I'll still enjoy it. We're gonna see if Pearl's big enough for Flight Force, but I'm not quite sure. I think it's 120 is the height requirement for this. So close but so far. Whilst we're just waiting for Rider Swap, I thought I'd give you a little show of Avengers Campus. It's very well themed. Also, Disney are currently building a Frozen Land and Star Wars Land as well, so there's lots coming to these, but I'm so excited for next year because they'll have that big pink hotel at the front. It's being refurbished and they'll have the Frozen Land. I feel like we're gonna be here a lot in 2024. So Liam's just been on Avengers flight and I was about to go on it, but you were like, I don't know if you're gonna like it. I think you should wait for later in the day maybe, rather than just after breakfast. What it's saying is, all those scrambled eggs and the croissants. <laughs> <laughs> also, I had a coffee, a cappuccino, was it a cappuccino? A cappuccino. A cappuccino. Bear in mind, I never drink coffee. That was like my fifth or sixth coffee of my life. Yeah. Just feel like I've got a lot of things going on within. And I just yeah. It does throw you around a lot. So No, uh, that's not. It is enjoyable, but. I just don't want to see coffee flavored eggs back again. No. So <laughs> instead we're going to go on web slingers, which sounds much more gentle. All I know about this ride is that it's Spider-Man themed. Well, I know it's one. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, something sticky with his hands. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, there's been so many Spider-Man. Okay, something like that then. 3D, because they've all got glasses on. Okay, so the gist is that these spiders, spider bots, are destroying the campus and we've got to go and round them all up and save the day. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Since this ride is a 3D one, I will put my camera away and report back. Oh my goodness, look at Darcy's score. Darcy was red. You were amazing. That was so good. That is a must do ride. That is so good. The technology in that ride was amazing. That was so good. I was like, it was so good. I remember when I was eight, so in 1993, my dad took us all to Disney World in America and actually went to Universal Studios and there was a Back to the Future ride. 
And I remember my dad and granddad being like, that technology was incredible. I just think, like, the advances they make in like attractions and rides and stuff, what will it be in like another 20 years or another 30 years? I'm excited for the rides of the future. From spiders to turtles, we are heading on Crush's coaster. So the ride vehicles are those turtle shells and it's a roller coaster but the turtle shells swizzle as well. So Darcy and I are starting off at the back. Woo! Oh my goodness! Wow! 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 So we're, oh we're spinning, so we're going backwards. Okay. Did not know but that was an inside dark ride. It's basically like a roller coaster in the dark. I'm so disorientated because I've seen that little bit where it goes outside. I thought that we would, like I've seen this bit here, but that's obviously just the first bit. That was good. <laughs> I need to sit down. We are heading back into my favorite park, the classic Disneyland park. Oh, oh. As soon as you step into Main Street, I just feel like my whole soul is like happy. If I was a cat, I'd be purring. Even in the grey, I think it's such a pretty park. And over here in the train station, Mickey and Minnie are greeting. I love their 30th anniversary costumes. They're so fun. There they are. Good morning, Minnie and Mickey. has popped on my lens I think from that parade that parade just makes me so happy and um, we're gonna go into Discovery Land now which is basically um, Disneyland Paris's Tomorrowland we didn't go in there at all yesterday so it'd be nice to go and explore that and come along of course I really like the look and vibe of this area it kind of reminds me of something but I just I can't put my finger on what it reminds me of can you guess what ride we're going on now Star Tours CP3O. I have actually seen the Star Wars film, so I actually know what's going on in this one. I don't think this one is one that I can film on because it's. 3D so you won't get any enjoyment out of it but it's like a little simulator thing here and we'll see it all in here. What did you think of that? It was good. If you don't like actual roller coasters that are like physically taking you somewhere like on a track but you still want a bit of a thrill that's a really good option because if you're sat in the seat you do like tilt and tip a little bit but you're not shaking all around but you still get that like woo kind of like moving like tummy going up inside you a little bit that sounds gross but you know what I mean like it's a, it's a good middle ground we were gonna do hyperspace mountain which is behind me uh, but it shut so imagine imagine sort of 30 seconds of that footage there what do you want to go on doodles so I've done it and I'm gonna sit with you and you're gonna go Thanks guys. On startles, she was like, oh, I'm falling off my seat. 
I was falling off my seat. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? You get to this point with children and they're just savage to you. Plot twist, Thunder Mountain wait time is 70 minutes. So we are heading into Fantasyland because we've only got an hour before our lunch reservation. Hello! Oh, that was so good, wasn't it? I was just about to show you that Small World is closed for refurbishment and how beautiful um, Fantasyland is. But we got a little surprise hello from Ariel, didn't we, Pearl? Yeah. Was that so special? Uh-huh. I've said it in the other vlogs, but I just love all the flowers, like the pinks, creams, purples, and then with like the turquoises and mints. Oh, it's so my aesthetic and I, I'm just loving it. What have you found, Pearl? Baby chickies! Chickies! Oh. I love this ride, it's so gentle and so cute. Why is this so aesthetically pleasing to me? Oh, it says, welcome to the enchanting world of... Oh, it says, supervise your children. <laughs> but this one says, welcome to the enchanting world of storybook classics. Gorge. Gorge. Wake up. When you swiped right, when you swiped right on me, did you think that life would be a bit more fun? It's just so exciting, this. Ducklings! They're so cute, aren't they, Pearl? They're so cute! Are we going to Pearl's Land? We're going to have a little look in this shop. What are these? Are they like storage or just... Oh, money boxes. I'm always interested in chocolate when I'm away. Kit Kat balls, or as Pearl calls them, cat kits. I'm just coming. And then these are hazelnut Kit Kat pops. How cool. You need... Whoa. I don't think you do need that, my love. I didn't know that they had this fountain here as well. I love this. So pretty and I like all the little mice details. Very Disney. When I booked the trip, I booked us a table at Waltz, which I'm really excited to try. Saw it in one of Brogan's vlogs and it looks amazing. Um, you I'm going to link Brogan's channel below because she has amazing Disney content. Like, if you like these videos, you will like hers because they're so much better, so much slicker. Um, so I'm going to link because she inspires me with a lot of my Disney choices. This doesn't feel like your typical kind of theme park restaurant. It's obviously all Walt themed. Here's all pictures of him. Then over there it says Lily's Boutique and Lily was his wife. We're just in the waiting area and I'm so impressed. It's so like ornate, like the windows. Even the light fittings are very kind of turn of the century, which is what Walt Disney modeled Main Street on. And the details like the little console tables and all the detail on this table on the rug and the grandfather clock over there it's just so lovely this is such a lovely dining space and we've got views of main street so this is the children's menu if you want to have a look <coughs> what do you think you fancy you can have sweet corn soup a little chicken pot pie or a grilled vegetable sandwich to start i think you would like the chicken pie Pie yeah. idea. And then afterwards you could have chicken with mashed potato or you could have mac and cheese pasta or you could have, I think this might be fish with rice and a sauce. Fish with rice. So this is the adult menu and do pause it because I love all the little bits of information about Walt, like he loved Wardle salad, it was even on a list attached to his fridge at home. And then the desserts, I think I'm going to go for the pineapple upside down cake. Pineapple is one of Walt's favourite fruits. He loved Walt loved pie. This recipe mixes two of his favourite desserts. Thank you, that looks amazing. pearly has got the mini chicken pot pie. And you've got a little, what did you go for? little grilled sandwich and you've got oh it did have a little mickey shaped wafer on it oh you've got it over there <laughs> so for mains liam has gone for the chicken darcy's gone for a mini mac and cheese pearly is my fishy girl you love fish don't you and then i have gone for this incredible looking mac and cheese 
dessert so here and Pearly has the ice cream and then Darcy ordered this like mini cake yes you can but she wanted this off the adult menu so I ordered that and we swapped and you've got a lemon moussey jobby it's a chocolate mousse with a chocolate cakey thing at me. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello, down here. Down here, up here. Up here, we're up, up here. here. Say hello, Tiana. Back in the lift with my little hands. gang. We're gonna have a bit of a rest. Pearly, what are you doing? I try to look for money. You're just you're like a little truffle pig through my handbag, aren't you? Just because I keep jewellery. Because you want jewellery? Yes, because I keep it all up. Oh look, you found some euros. I honestly think the key to a successful Disney day is to take time out of Disney. So we've been in the hotel for a little while, um, some of us have had naps, some of us have just watched a bit of TV, had a bit of phone time, and now we are bundled up warm and we're going to go back out into the parks and watch the um, fireworks. <laughs> There's a massive group doing the Marvel pose there. <laughs> oh, I love the walk down to Disney, it's like very calm. With the big lake and the hot air balloon. It's just very spacious and nice. Oh, that's the shot. That's the beautiful shot. I don't know if my camera is doing that justice, but it looks so good in real life. I was just standing here looking at this and something I didn't notice is that there are stained glass windows because this is a train station and they have stained glass windows kind of depicting, I'm assuming like the lands that they have. That must be Discovery Land. That's cool. Oh. Liam's off with Pearly. Oh my goodness, we're capturing a big moment here. This is second photo of the trip. Here he is. <laughs> Just skipping away down Main Street. So I've staked out a little place ready for the fireworks. How beautiful is the console at sunset? Like all lit up, all pinky purpley. I'd love to know in the comments, what is your favorite Disney castle? Here comes my little stake out buddy. Hello, my gorgeous. Hello. Thank you. So for reference, Main Street is down there. And then we come round and we're at the first kind of hub podium, right in the center of it by the steps. And this, I think, will be an incredible view. We are here super early. We're here like two hours early, but we're taking it in turns. Um, and I think it'll be worth it because the children really couldn't see much last time, but they will now and this will be lovely worth the wait okay we're about to start i'm going to try and film some bits of it because i'm not blocking anyone's view i've just got the camera right in front of my face um, and i've got a really lovely view tonight so hopefully film some little nice bits for you i can't put long stretches of it because i don't have the copyright <laughs> to the music but i'll put some little bits and clips as it were from all around the world il y a tellement de magie et de lumière à l'intérieur de nos rêves. Gala, let's make the future brighter than ever. If you'd like to see more, awesome. I filmed more for Instagram. Should we go down this way, I filmed more for Instagram because I put more sound stuff on there. So that will be all my highlights, DLP, Design Paris highlights, if you're interested. Or just search on YouTube. Somebody would have filmed the whole thing and put it up and done a lovely job, better than what I would have done. All right, back to the uh, hotel. It's pretty crowded, so I shall put my camera away. Focus. You here on 
the towel rail, you very precariously rest it so don't lean to either side. Um, it's our last morning this morning. I thought the show last night was incredible. I was so glad that I waited out and got that spot. If you want that spot, you have to get there two hours early, but um, it's okay if you're in a family because the other person can take children on rides and things. Um, but yeah, it was a long wait, but it was worth it because, oh, it was beautiful. I'm still thinking about it now. Um, this morning, we were going to get up super early and go for breakfast and make the most of magic hours, but we had such a late night last night um, that when my alarm went off at six, I just, I got up and I was like, right, let's wake myself up, wake myself up. And then I looked at the children who were just like sound asleep, like in deep sleeps. I just thought, no, never mind. We actually don't need to be there for magic hour because we have done all the rides we wanted to do. Um, so we're just gonna have a slower morning. If you're a really like keen viewer, you might note that I'm wearing the same jumper again as I wore in the vlog. I got the uh, packing maths wrong or I got the weather wrong because one of the outfits that I had bought that I was planning on wearing on the day I thought was gonna be really warm uh, was like a dress and it has not actually been really, really warm. So I'm having to be an outfit repeater but you know, a bit of deodorant, <laughs> everything's fine. I feel like there's so much to say on Disneyland Paris, this hotel, the differences between this experience and the American experience, and our like personal highs and lows, but I don't just wanna like tag that on the end of a vlog. So I'll either, like I said for the cruises, do like a whole separate video. I've seen like trip reviews, kind of like that but more like informal and easy breezy or on Instagram um, I'll likely do like a QA and a um, and share my thoughts there as well so if you head over to Instagram there will be a highlight called DLP which stands for Disneyland Paris um, lots of pictures in there and also lots of like clips of things that aren't in here um, but I think that is probably it for this vlog I'm going to put this camera away we're going to get packed and then we're just going to go and spend the morning before we take um, ourselves off to the airport. I'm gonna put this in because that just makes it a bit more fun, doesn't it? And you wouldn't know that my hair needs <laughs> my hair needs a wash. Um, yeah, gonna just have the morning and then head back to Luton. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this vlog. I know that there's so many videos out there, and I also know that nowadays there's so many Disney videos. So I really appreciate you watching mine. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be answering. And I love you all lots. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.